This is Witch Space News for Friday the 10th of August 2018. I'm Commander Burr. In this week's news, a commander builds an ASP out of cardboard, Miguel Johnson releases a new Elite Dangerous themed album, a player faction's gameplay proposal has been submitted to the community, and I'll have this week's Thargoid report. Prismatic Pistachio posted an image on Reddit of an ASP explorer that they'd created themselves using just cardboard, wire and a toothpick. You can see the commanders incredible work on screen at the moment and I've included a link to the original post and an imager gallery of the commanders work in the video description. It's an incredibly detailed piece of work, it even includes landing gear. Pistachio considers this job finished and doesn't intend to paint the model preferring the minimalist look that the cardboard has given them, but hasn't ruled out other models in the future. <coughs> Cobra. <coughs> Elite friendly musician Miguel Johnson has released another very elite-esque album. While the description doesn't say it's specifically elite themed, it does include tracks with titles like Colonia, Witch Space and The Guardians. So elite themed then. Suffice to say the album is of Miguel's usual supremely high standard and is as YouTube friendly as his other work. Uh, and as usual Miguel positively encourages its use in videos and streams which is why you can hear it in all my videos on this channel. It really is amazing, I honestly encourage you to go and have a look, there's a link in the description below. This bloke is a flipping legend. A number of player groups have banded together to submit a proposal for a player faction system within the game that takes elements reminiscent of the power play system and expands greatly on them. The system would allow such things as pledging to player factions, colonising of distant star systems, a diplomacy system between squadrons and even player created missions, as well as many other features. The very detailed proposal document is open to the community to review and discuss uh, and has even been picked up and acknowledged by Frontier who commended the effort and obvious work that's been put into the proposal. I have to say I think that personally I think Elite lends itself uh, very well to many if not all of the systems suggested in the document and I suspect honestly that Frontier probably see it that way in the long term as well. I wouldn't be at all surprised if we see a lot of this make it into the game uh, eventually in one form or another. I'd personally like to commend all involved for stepping forward with these suggestions in such a mature and well documented fashion and I'd also give a hearty salute to Frontier for taking a look at it. And finally. Here's a summary of this week's Thargoid activity and what you can do to help. Last week CW Ursa Majoris and Kamad Henu were targeted by the Thargoids and I'm pleased to report that due to a massive effort by the galactic community both systems were successfully defended. Yes, you heard that right, both systems were defended. That almost never happens. Eagle Eye installations are suggesting this week that the Majek system and HIP 30045 are likely targets for the Thargoids and commanders looking for combat experience with all types of Thargoid threat should head there without delay. If you're looking to help with the cleanup from the many previous attacks then I'd recommend helping out Operation IDA or IDA which I've linked below. They coordinate the collective efforts uh, of available commanders to get damage stations up and running. All you'll need is a ship capable of cargo hauling, no special equipment really. Check their website and discord uh, for details on where to go and what to bring. This week's community goal from Frontier is also looking for Thargoid cleanup assistance, uh, specifically escape pod recovery and you can check that out on the in-game mission boards. That's all for me from this week, thank you so much for making it this far. If you enjoy my videos do remember to hit the subscribe button to keep updated with more videos as I release them and also hit the like button as it really helps the channel. I'll be back later this week with more videos, until then 07 commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. I'll see you next time.